Good day for us. The next topic, or our topic for this lesson is factors and multiples of numbers. Factors and multiples of numbers. Lesson objectives. By the end of this topic, students should be able to, one, identify types of numbers. Find the factors of a number. Write a number as product of its factors in index form. Identify prime numbers. Find the multiples of a number. Find the lowest common multiple, LCM, of two or more numbers. Find the highest common factor, ACF, of two or more numbers. To start with, what is a number? A number is a mathematical symbol to represent a particular quantity. Also, it's used to count, measure, add, label, e.g., one, Two, three. These three dots means continuous. A thousand, million, trillion, and so on and so forth. Types of numbers. We have types of numbers. The first one is uh, natural numbers. Natural numbers are the counting numbers. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Continuous. This num uh, digit, that one we manipulate to get 10. 11, 12, and so on and so forth. Integers. Integers are positive and negative natural numbers, including zero. So at that, our natural numbers, zero also is part of the uh, natural number. So we have what we call, that word, when we now combine negative and positive with zero together, we have what we call an integers. So we have minus, minus two, minus one, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's uh, numbers in this part too, which also continues in that order. Odd numbers. Odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided exactly by 2. That's what we mean by odd numbers. There's no way you divide it, you will not get remainder by 2. So any number that cannot be divided that exactly by two with that remainder is what we regard to as uh, odd numbers. Examples are one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, etc. Even numbers is the next one. Even numbers are numbers that can be divided exactly by two. This even number that the number that we can uh, divide by two without any remainder. E.g., two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, and so on and so forth. The next one is prime numbers. A prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself, e.g., 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on and so forth. Note, all prime numbers are odd numbers except two. So the next one is uh, factors. The factors of, of a number are the old numbers that divide exactly into another whole, whole number without a remainder. That's the definition for factors. Let's look at the example. Example 1. Find the factors of 12. 12. What are the numbers that we multiply together that will give us 12? Let's start from 1 times 12 will give me 12. 2 times 6 will give me 12. 3 times 4 also will give us eh, 12. This, all these numbers are the factors of 12. That is, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. Those are the factors of 12. Example 2. Find the factors of 60. So, the factors of 60, let's look at those numbers that will multiply together that will give us 60. Two numbers that will multiply together that will give us 60. 1 times 60 will give us 60. 2 times 30 will give us 60. 3 times 20 will give us 60. 4 times 15 will give us 60. 5 times 12 will give us 60. 6 times 10 also will give us 60. So all these numbers that are here are the factors of 60. So the factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60 itself. So those are the factors of 60. The next one is there. Example 3, find the factors of 108 that are even numbers. 
factors of 108 that are even numbers. The first step here is to find the factors of 108. When you get the factors of 108, we cannot get the even numbers. So what are the two numbers? We multiply together. That will give us 108. Let's look at them. 1 times 108 will give me 108. 2 times 54 will give us 108. 3 times 36 will give us 108. 4 times 27 will give us 108. 6 times 18 will give us 108. 9 times 12 will give us 108. So all this, one, the factors of 108 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 27, 36, 54, and 108 itself. So for all these factors now, let's bring out those that are even numbers. I, still, I believe that we still put the definition of our even number at the back of our mind. So let's look at it. The even numbers among them are 2, 4, 6, 12, 18, 36, 54, and 108 itself. So uh, this is uh, one for the viewers to practice with. Find the factors of 94 and 150 that are all numbers. So follow that example 3 uh, procedures to uh, get these ones. The next thing is the prime numbers. Prime numbers. A prime number is a number that has only two factors, one and itself. Note, one is not a prime number. One is not a prime number because it has only one uh, uh, factor, which is self. So, but before you can regard the number as a prime number, it must have two factors, one and it self. So look at them. Then look at prime factors. A prime factor is a factor that is also a prime number. E.g., the prime factors of 18 are 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are the prime uh, factor. We have what we call product of prime factors. Product of prime factors can be found by two methods. One, prime factor, three, method. Two, dividing repeatedly by the prime numbers. Let look at, let uh, use this example to buttress uh, those explanations. Example four, express 16 in prime factor form. Method one, three method. 60, we used three, three to break it down. The two numbers we multiply together will give us is two times 30, give us 60 first. So two times 30, give us this 60. This 30, we break this 30 also down with two numbers that we multiply together, which is uh, three times 10 we give us 30. This, again, we break this one also down to 2 times 5 to give us 10. So if we look at this now. We have break them down. These are the even numbers. So we look at the factors of 60 now. 60 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So the prime factors of 60 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. When you multiply this number together, you must get this uh, 60 back. If you don't get this 60 back, that means something is wrong somewhere. So you cross-check again. Once you multi up, multiply this answer back together, you must get this one. If you, does, if you don't even get this one, that means something is wrong. So you cross-check. That is for three method. Method two, which is a, uh, by division method. Let's look at this. 60. We draw a line like this. We use two, the least uh, factor of that number. We use it to divide it. Let's start from 2. 2 divides the 60 give me 30. We use 2 again in 30. Give me 15. 2 cannot divide 15. So we use the next number that will divide 15. Least. Which is uh, 3. 3 will divide, uh, divide by uh, 15 divided by 3. Give me 5. 3 cannot divide uh, 5 again. So we go to the next one which is uh, 5. Which will give me 1. So all this one are the prime factor of 60. So we combine them together, we get 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. That this one, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, which also will give me that uh, 60. That's the second method. The example 5, express two, uh, 540 as a product of prime factors. As product of prime factors. We use the, uh, the two methods here too. The first method, 240. 2 times 
So another 70 will give me this 240. So we split it into two. We leave this one is on its own. So we go to this one. We split this one again. Two times one thirty five will give me two this two, uh, 270. So we take this two times this. We how can we split this one again? We know three times forty five will give me one thirty five. So we go to this again. This thirty five again. We split it again. Three times fifteen will give me this. So this one also is a multiple number. So we can still divide it again. Three times five will give me this fifteen. So we now take it from here. All this one. To the last number here is what we we take as our prime a product of prime factors that is two times two times three times three times three times five we give us uh, this number back so that is the product of prime factors for the second method 540 we draw our straight line let's use the least uh, factor which is two two in this one that is 540 divided by two we give me 270 Another one, we take another two, we can still divide this one. So we take 270 over, uh, divided by 2, we give me 135. 2 cannot div uh, divide this 135, so we go to the next factor, which is a 3. 3 into this one will give me 45. 45, 3 can still divide, uh, 45, so we do 45 divided by 3, we give me 15. 15 divided by 3, we give me 5. 3 cannot divide uh, 5 again, so we go to the next factor, which is 5. 5 divided by 5 will give me 1. So we now take all this one. That is 2 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 3, times 3, times 3, times 5. So we give me 2 times 2, times 3, times 3, times 3, times 5. So this is the a product of prime factor that they ask us to find. We are done with that. So now the next thing is using index notation. Using index notation. From that example 5 that we just have finished, those we see that we consider that the two appear twice, three appear uh, twice. So we can see how this method helps us to write it in a short form. It is possible to write the product briefly by using index notation. And to do that, we write three raised to the power two. It means this power is what we call this two is what we call power or index. Why this three? We call it base. We call it base. So this. When we get the prime factors, the product of prime factors, we now put it in power. Let's look at this example 6 to buttress that uh, explanation. Write the following in index form. A, 3 times 3 times 3. It means equal to 3 raised to power 3. 3, it appeared 3 times. So we just take 1 and put, count the number 1, 2, 3. So raised to power 3. For B, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So we look at it. We take 2. We take 1. 2. How many times did this one appear? 1, 2, 3. So we raise to power 3. We call this, we put this index or power. Times 3. Raise to power or 2. Because 3 appears twice. For C. 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. Will give us 9 raised to power 4. So let's look at the examples under these aspects. Express this as a product or prime factors using index notation. A12, B250. The solution, let's look at two. I want to find the prime factors, the product of prime factors. So two, 12 divided by two, give us six. Six divided by two, give us three. 3 divided by 3 give us 1. So 2 times 2 times 3. So we now write that 2. We count the number of times it appears. We have 1, 2. is 2. So raised to power 2 times 3. 3 appears 1. So it will be raised to power 1. And that one is invisible. We don't need to write it. So the next one, B. 2. 250 divided by 2 give us 125. 2 cannot divide 125 again. So we make use of the next factor, which is uh, 5. 5 divided by uh, 125 divided by 5 give us 25. 25 divided by 5 give us a 5 divided by 5 give us 1. So we take all these factors now. 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. So the next thing for us to so express this in index form, we take 2 times 5. 5. The number of times it appear 1, 2, 3. Raised to power 3. That what made by index notation. Common factors. Common factors. A factor common to two or more numbers is called a common factor. 
example 7. Find the common factor of the following. 6, 8 and 16. B, 18 and 12. C, 6, 8 and 18. Common factors. 8 and 16. Factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. Why factors of uh, 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. I think we still remember our factors. The number that we divide that number without any remainders. So uh, Now, let's look at those that are common to both numbers now. 1 is here, 1 is here. One common to them. 2 is here, 2 is here. Common to them. 4 is here, 4 is here. Common to them. 8 is here, 8 is here. Common to them. 16 is here, no 16 here. So the common factors are 1, 2, 4, 8. So all this number is what we call common factors. Common factors of 16 and 8. B, we are 18 and 12. The common factors where we, we use uh, those factors to divide, to get our number. 18, the factors of 18 are 2, 3, and 3. 1, 2, 3. If you, for 12, 2, 2, 3. So 12 are these. So let's look at the one that common to them. 2, 3 is here. Is this one is two, three is here, three is here. So the common factors of 18 and 12 will be two and three. C, six, eight, and 18. We divide six. Let's look at the factors of six. Factors of six are two and three. Factors of eight, two, 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 three times. Why factors of uh, 18, two, three, three. So let's look at it here. Six, two, and three, eight. 2, 2, 2, and 18, 2, 3, 3. Now, let's look at the numbers that are common to them. 2 is here, 2 is here. Is here, 2. 3 is here, no 3 here. 3 is here, but it's not here. 3 is here, 2 is here, 3 is here. So, if we look at this, it's only 2 that are common to the 3 of them. 3 is here, but no 3 here. And this one, there's 3. So, the common factors is 2. The common factor of the three numbers is 2. So we now have what we call highest common factors. Highest common factor, ACF. Highest common factors. The highest common factor of two or more numbers is the highest factor common to them. Those ones that we, uh, the example we solved the other time. So we now want to see how the one that, the biggest number out of them is what we call common factor. Example 8. Find the ACF, that's the highest common factor of the following numbers. A, 9 and 18. B, 20 and 35. C, 16, 20 and 14. D, 215 and 205. So let's see. Uh, the same method, the same procedures. 9, 18. For 9 and 18, let's look at this. There's... 9 times, uh, 3 times 3 will give us 9. 2 times 3 times 3 will give us 18. So let's look at the, if we draw this one, it's common to 3 common to them, and then these 3 common to them. So when we pick the two factors, when we multiply the two factors together, you give me 9. So that means the highest common factor to both of them is 9. Let us do not make mistake to say it's 3. It's not three because three appears twice here. Three appears twice. So the highest common factor there is nine, not three. Is that taken? Delicious. So you should note uh, that that the highest common factor of nine and eighteen is nine. So once two of them appear twice, you pick the two. If they appear try uh, three times, you pick the three. You multiply them together. But since two, we multiply it give us nine. So the highest common factor here is uh, nine. For the second number. 20 and 35. 20, 2 times 2 times 5. And then 35, we have 5 times 7. So let's look at the, there's 2 here, no 2 here. There's 2 here, no 2 here. 5 is here, 5 is here. 7 is here, no 7 here. So the highest common factor here is 5. So ACF is a 5. For 16, 20, and 14. These are the factors of 16. While 2 appears 4 times here. For 20, 2 appears 3 times. Five. Look at the 14, 2 appears once. So now if you look at the, the factors, 2 is 1 here, four, 3 here, 4 here. 
the one that common to three of them is two. So the highest common factor here is two because two that common to four of uh, three of numbers 16, 20, and 14. So the highest common factor there is two. The next subheading there is a uh, multiples. Multiples. We are still under factors uh, of numbers. When the whole numbers is multiplied by another whole numbers, the result obtained is called the multiple of either of those numbers. E.g. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 5, 10. Don't continue. E.T.C. The same thing. So all these, the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are what we call multiples of 2. And what we call multiples of 2. That's the meaning of uh, multiples uh, of number. Multiples means when the, a whole number multiply by another whole numbers. The result obtained is what we call multiple of either of the numbers. We have what we now call common multiples. When two or more numbers have a multiple in common, then the number is known as a common multiple. Example 9. Find the first three common multiples of the following numbers. A, 2 and 3. B, 2, 3 and 5. C, 3, 6 and 9. Solution. So let's find the, the multiples of each number. The multiple of 2 are... 2 times 1 will give me 2, 2 times 2 will give us 4, 2 times 3 will give us 6, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 5, 10, 2 times 6, 12, 2 times 7, 14, 2 times 8, 16, 2 times 9, 18, 2 times 10, 20. Con dot, 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 means continuous. The three, for 3, 3 times 1 will give us 3, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 4, 12, 3 times... 5, 15, 3 times 6, 18, 3 times 7, 21, 3 times 8, 24, 3 times 9, 27, 3 times 10, 30. Continues. Now, let's now look at those that are common to both numbers. Now, the multiples that are common to both 2 and 3. Now, let's look at them. Let's let look at 6. There's 6 here. There's 6 here. So, the first common multiple to them, is the first one is 6. Let's continue. Wait, which one again? 12. There's 12 here, there's 12 here. Okay, that's the second one. Let's look again. 16 here, no 16 here. 18, there's 18 here, and there's 18 here. And so on and so forth. So let's look. The first, the first three common multiples to these two numbers are three, 6, 12, and 18. So the question they ask us. For B, we have 3 and 5. The multiples of 3s. The multiple of 3 are these. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 36, 30, 36, 39, 42, 45, and so on and so forth. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and so on and so forth. So let's look at the first three common multiples to them. 15 is here, and 15 is here. So we take that one. 30 is here, 30 is here. We take that one. And let's look at it again. 45 is here. 45 is here. We take it. So the first three common multiples to these two numbers are 15, 30, and 45. That's what we call uh, common multiples. For the last number uh, question in that aspect, 6 and 9. These are the multiples of 6. And these are the multiples of 9. So let's look at those that are common to them. There's 18 here. There's 18 here. So we pick that one. 24 is here, no 24 here. 30, no 30. The next one, 36, 36. That's the next one. And let's look at 54 and 54. So the first three common multiples are 18, 36, and 54. Both, those are the three numbers that are common to the multiples we have here. They may ask us more than three. As many as they ask us, we continue to multiply till we get to, uh, till we get the number. We are looking for the next one is the lowest common multiple lcm the lower common multiple of two or more numbers is the lowest multiple they have in common in the above example six is the lcm of two and three in a 
likewise b in b 15 is the lcm of that number and the those examples that we just uh, finished like this c now these are the common first three common multiple this is the lower lowest smallest 18 is the lcm of these two numbers that one made by the lowest common multiple that the smallest the lowest the least out of those uh, common multiples is what we refer to as the lcm example 10 find the lcm of the following numbers a 16 and 19 b 5 8 10 and 15 c 9 22 and 81 d 16 24 and 42 solution a 60 and 90 write the two numbers the way we did that uh, product of prime factors we do the same thing here we use this the factors to divide the two numbers so we get to the uh, one the last number is one so let's start 60 divided by 2 give me 30 90 divided by 2 give me 45 30 divided by 2 give me 15 we are using this number to divide them and two cannot divide this 45 so we we'll write it again the next factor that we divide the two numbers we have here is three so we we'll write three here 15 divided by 3 give me 5 15 divided by 45 uh, 45 divided by 3 will give me 15 so the next factor that we divide them is 3 but 3 cannot divide this 5 so we'll write this 5 again 15 divided by 3 give me 5 the next factor that we divide the two numbers now is 5 so 5 divided by 1 5 5 divided by 1 1 5 divided by 1 5 divided by 5 1 5 divided by 5 1 so all these factors now we bring them together that 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 so we bring them we now multiply them together that will give us the lowest common multiple of 16 and 90 2 times 2 times 3 times 8 uh, times 3 times 5 will give me 180 when we multiply everything together we get 180 so this 180 is the lowest common multiple of 60 and 90 for b we have 5 8 10 and 15 so we do the same thing let the lowest factor to divide the all the numbers we have here two cannot divide this five so we write it again you cannot divide this 15 we write it again then you can divide this one two divides eight you give us four two divides ten give us five yeah two two cannot divide it we write it again we write this one we write this one you can divide this one give us two two in four give us uh, two you cannot divide this one with we'll write five again we we'll write five we we'll write 15 again two divide five give us one until the number get to one before you stop so now the next factor that we divide this one is three five three cannot divide five so we we'll write it again one we we'll write it we we'll write this but three can divide this 15 which will give me five so we we'll now use five to divide everything here five divided by five give me one we we'll rewrite our one again 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. So all these factors now, we multiply them together. So we give us 1. Ten. So the LCM of the four numbers, 8, 5, 8, 10, and 15, we equal to 120. For C, 9, 27, and 81. We do the same thing, the same method, the same procedures. We use 3 to divide all these numbers. Give me 3. 3 divides this one, give us 9. 3 divides 81, 27. 3 divides 3, 1. 3 divides 9, 3. 3 divides 27, give us 9. We take 3 again. 3 divides 1, which 1. We have uh, we got the end of the, we are getting to the end of this one. So we use 3 divides 3, 1. 3 divides 9, 3. 3 divides, we write all this one again. 3 divides 3, 1. So all of them are 1. So we stop. So now multiply everything together. And 3 times 3. 9, 9 times 3, uh, 3, 27, 27 times 3, give me 81. So, so for D, 16, 24, and 42, we do the same thing, the same method, the same procedures. We, we got all these factors. We get all these factors. 2 divides all this one, give me 8, 12, and 21. 2 divides 8, we give me 4, 12, give me 6. You cannot divide this one, we we'll write it again. 2 divides 4, give me 2. 2 divides 6, give me 3. You cannot divide this one, we write it again. 2 divides 2, give me 1. You cannot divide this one, we write it. We write this one again. 
three. Let's go to the next factor, three. We write this one, three divided three, one, three divided 21, give me seven. Seven divided seven, one, we write all this one. So the LCM, uh, the LCM now, we multiply all these factors together, which are these, two times two, times two, times two, times three, times seven, which will give us 336. The, the lowest common multiple, the low, lowest common multiple of the three numbers is 336. The exercise, since we have gone uh, go through all this lesson, this question are for students to practice. One, find an even number between 30 and 50. That is a multiple of 6 and 7. Two, find the ACF and the LCM of 2, 4, and 8. B, 10, 20, and 25. C, 45, 54, and 180. Three, find the difference between the LCM and the ACF of the numbers in question two. Now, find the difference between the LCM and ACF of these uh, number two, four, eight, 10, 20, 25, 45, 54, and 180. So this is the end of the uh, lesson today.